<laughs> okay, Adam, what have you got for us? Here's the story. The guy's driving behind a big truck, and every time the big truck gets to a bridge, it stops, the driver of the truck gets up, bangs on the side, and then proceeds across the bridge. He runs into the truck driver at a gas station and says, why are you banging on the truck? And the truck driver says, well, I got a load of birds, and they're over the weight limit of most of these local bridges. So whenever I get to one, I bang on the truck, they fly around, and my truck is lighter. Clever. So the myth for us is, if you're driving around with a truckload of birds and they take flight, is your truck lighter? Here's where we stand. We're trying to bust the myth that if you're driving with a truckload full of birds and they all take flight inside that truck, is it lighter than when they're just sitting there? This is our full-scale rig. It's sitting on four load cells. We've got calibrated computer equipment reading exactly the weight of those birds when they're sitting there. They're all going to fly at the same time. They can't land anywhere, but these foam batons that are spinning and make them fly around. We're going to test this myth for real and see if it's true. So the bird truck myth is about to shake its tail feathers. Just in three, two, one, go. <laughs> They're all flying. It's, it's beautiful. Gone. Most of them are flying. That's great. OK, I'm ready. I'm going to call it, all right? All right. All right, we're done. OK. And stopping. <laughs> Woo! That worked better than I thought it would. They all flew for like a good maybe 15 seconds. That's great. But getting a truckload of birds to fly isn't the point. The question is, does the trailer get lighter? So there's no difference when they were in the air. No, but you can see minor fluctuations happening very quick. But well, what I see is the fluctuations have about the exact same amplitude both above and below the zero point. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a noisy signal, but here, it's clear there's no difference. Yeah, that's great. Dude, that is beautiful. <laughs> and although the data is quite noisy, which of course it would be with so many variables of, you know, 20 birds, it proves that the birds on a truck do not change the weight of that truck in any significant way. So the myth is busted, but Jamie and Adam still aren't quite satisfied. This helicopter is going to be a very clean and stable signal. We should be able to see it on the graph much more steady than we see the birds. And this is the nail in the coffin for this myth. If we see no change in the weight of the trailer with a helicopter in it, it's busted again and once and for all. Shut it down. That was perfect. There was no bother with that hover. But what about the results? It's off the ground. And the line's stable. The line is totally stable. And then when it gets back down. Give me some, man. That is <laughs> beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> no wonder they're pleased with themselves. This is the myth that just wouldn't die. This myth has been very persistent. It's been all over the fan side. It's been all over the web. and. I'm glad we finally put it to rest. You can see what's going on here. It's very clear, especially with the helicopter. You know, the helicopter is sitting there. Its weight is on the trailer. And at a certain point, the props speed up appropriately. The weight is shifted away from the feet of the, uh, of the helicopter. And uh, instead, it's replaced by air pushing down on the trailer. It's six of one, half a dozen in the other. There's no free lunch here.